Hi, my name is Bhanu Prakash. I am having five years of experience in Oracle Access Manager, Oracle Identity Manager, Oracle Identity Directory, Oracle SOA, Web Center Sites, Web Center Portal, and Oracle Database, as well as Web Logic. So, in today's topic, we are going to discuss at a high level what is about Oracle Access Manager and its benefit, and what is about Oracle Identity Manager and its benefit and what is Oracle Identity Directory and what are its benefit and also we are going to talk about Oracle Access Manager and Oracle Identity Directory integration same way we are going to talk about the integration between the Oracle Identity Manager and Oracle Identity Directory and because and also the important topic we are going to discuss about what is the benefit of Oracle Access Manager and Oracle Identity Manager integration. Moving to the next slide. Okay, here at the at a high level, I have given what is the Oracle Access Manager, Identity Manager, and Identity Directory, and a pictorial representation of how we are seeing all these integrations. First, let me talk about Oracle Access Manager. The Oracle Access Manager have all the features which are basically an access manager tool requires okay oracle access manager provides the innovative new services that complement traditional access management capabilities okay the next important one is the multi factor authentication nowadays you see this in almost in every application where you see the first uh, authentication is a username password the second one is the pin based authentication or OTP based authentication where you will be seeing the OTP in your mobile number so out of box features Oracle Access Manager provides this the next one is a single sign on and identification so previously on PS 11G PS3 onwards the identification comes in built previously this was a separate product but 11G PS3 and 12C onwards it comes as an inbuilt feature so when we talk about the single sign on basically when you are logging into the main application and trying to access the target systems or a target applications you once again need not log in directly you can access the those target systems using the single sign on so out of box oracle access manager provides it supports saml based sso and also the open id connect from the 12c onwards which is a out of box feature and just you have to provide the required configurations for example we talk about the single sign on using the saml the source and the target system will be exchanging the metadata where the source system will be configuring the metadata and the target system also configuring the metadata so the trust have been happened between these two systems and SSO can be achieved the next one is session management when we talk about the session management whenever you user login a session will be created and the OAM provides a UI where you can see the what is the sessions have been created and whether configure the session for example I want the session for 60 minutes you can configure whether the same user can have a multiple sessions that means whenever he can access the multiple devices multiple browsers or you want to maintain only the single session that means he can only log in into the one session and other things user authorization when we talk about the authorization only the authorized users can access the resources okay it provides various levels of authorizations like protected resources public resources exclude etc okay the policy based access manager when we talk about the policy base okay the user who is having the particular role you can configure that he can access a particular journey or a particular module for example I want to access only the user you want to provide permission where he can access the order journey then you can assign a role and that role you can define in the policies okay you can apply these policy to this role so the whoever the user is having the, that particular role based on the policies he can view only those modules and the API out of box OEM provides the various API for example OEM SDK is one of the API where for you can use for the user authorization where you pass the username password and it authenticates the user and returns the online session and token 
where you can use this token and store in the browser and you can access the application when it comes to the oracle identity manager all the user management operations like creating the user updating the user deleting the user it is a out of box feature and also same way you can create the role delete the role update the role and also you can associate a role to the user okay the next one is the password management where you can com uh, create and configure whether you want a complex password and you can define your own rules for the password management whether how much special characters it should have what is the length and how many times it should the user key should get locked okay five times 10 times and also the expiry for example you want to specify that for every 90 days my password has to get expiry or a 40 days those all password related you can manage using the password management auto provisioning when we talk we'll talk more details about auto provisioning in the coming slide but at a high level auto provisioning is whenever the user has been created in the source system the automatically the user will be created to the target system using the auto provisioning out of box features using the connectors role management already we have spoken about the role management where you can create the various roles and based on the roles you can access the page or the module and organization okay whenever we talk about the organization if in your system if the user is belong to particular organization okay you can create the organization update the organization delete the organization associate that organization to the user and the api and also the om provides the api out of box feature where you can create the user update associate the role to the user create a role update the role all the operations it provides the api so out of box also it provides the api where you can consume and use these services now in coming to the oracle identity directory a full feature ldap server with rdms data store so it is same as like your ldap store and oracle has come with a product called oracle identity directory platform integration and these can be easily integrated with the other oracle products like access manager and Identity manager will be seeing coming in slides and the seamless integration between the oracle application and the products if you talk about the structure it will be same as your file explorer how the users or manager roles and etc and all the integrations is depicted in the diagram format where you can see the oracle identity federation oracle identity directory oracle identity manager virtual directory access manager etc okay moving to the next slide here we are going to discuss about oracle access manager and oracle internet directory integration or oracle identity directory integration okay whenever we install the oam okay what you have to do is we have to configure the webgate agent in your web server okay so that the communication between the web server and oam can happen okay uh, typically i am taking a one use case where user is trying to access a protected resource from the browser the request goes to the web server because there is a webgate agent or a oam agent is installed in the web server it intercepts the request and the request is pa forwarded to the oam okay and oam checks whether any session has been created for the user or not if the session is not created oam redirects to the login page where user needs to enter the username and password that is user credentials once user credentials have been entered it will be validated or authenticated in oid a session will be created in the oam once the session has been created once then the request is forwarded at the protected resource which user has requested has been uh, forwarded to the application server the application server has the logic where it processes the request and the page is rendered to the user so this is a typical use case between the oam and oid integration that is whenever there is oam has been integrated with the oid the oam uses the oid for whether the user is presented in the oid or not it authenticates the user then once the authentication is completed the request will be forwarded to the application server then the page is rendered to the user 
and where he can see the protected page. This is the how the integration happens between the OAM and OID. In this slide, we are going to talk about the integration between the Oracle Identity Manager and Oracle Identity Directory. Let me assume that you have installed the OIM and you have installed the OID that is Oracle Identity Manager and Oracle Identity Directory. Okay, these two can be integrated via using the out of box connector which OIM provides so that the syncing happens between the OIM and OID and a job will be running in continuously which happens so whenever you do a changes in the OIM automatically it will be sync in the OID or whenever you do a changes in the OID it will automatically sync into the OIM so out of box a job will be configured which provides the syncing between the OIM and OID okay I have a source system typically a HRM system which is already integrated with the OAM which is the out of box connector provided by the OAM and there are different targeted systems for example Outlook, Marketing, Payroll, Finance etc which via connected to the OAM via connectors okay let me take a typical use case to explain all these scenarios let me assume that a new employee has joined in an organization all the user and details will be entered like first name, last name, designation, username, password, email, etc. All will be entered in the VHRMS system. Once user enters the details and click on the submit, those details will be synced in the OAM using the concept called trusted source reconciliation. That means a user has been created in the source automatically that will get created in the OAM and these concept is called a trusted source reconciliation and next once the user has been created in the OAM then it can be automatically provisioned to the target systems like Outlook, Finance, Payroll, Marketing etc. This is typically called the user auto provisioning. Okay. Let me assume that if a typical use case whenever user is changing any details in the the target system like he has updated the last name or first name or email etc that will be automatically synced to the OAM and this concept is called account reconciliation okay so this is typically how your OAM and OID integration explained with the typical use case okay In this slide, I am going to explain the integration between the Oracle Access Manager and Oracle Identity Manager. Okay. Before going to the more details, the reason for preparing this presentation is when I have done a Google search or a YouTube search, always people are explaining of the integration or the configuration or the installation. But no one has explained clearly about what is the benefit of integration between the Oracle Access Manager and Oracle Identity Manager. In this, I am taking a use case. Previous use case, I am only I'm extending. I will explain the benefits of integration between the Oracle Access Manager and Oracle Identity Manager. First, I am taking the same scenario where user try to access a protected resource in the browser. Okay. And the because the request a webgate agent resides in the web server the request is pro forwarded to the oracle access manager okay and oracle access manager typically checks whether the user session has been created or not if the user session is not created the request is forwarded to the authenticated page so user enters the username password and click on the submits the request will be validates okay what type of a validation whether there is a typical validation happens related to the password whether the user password got expiry or not okay whether user has provided the challenge questions or not user account is locked or the other like forgot password forgot policies password policies etc let me assume that user have password got expired okay this is the validation happens at the OM side then what OEM does is it redirects the request to the OIM. Okay. 
to check the user password. So in OAM, because all your password policies are configured in the OAM, it checks whether his policy got expired or other things, whether the challenge questions have been entered or not. And OAM already integrated with the OID. And then what happens is once everything, the validations has been passed, the request once again redirect back to the OAM. And once the validation has been passed, it, the request will be forwarded to the application server where the application server process the request and it renders the page to the user. So this is the typical use case where user is trying to access a protected resource and the web gauge uh, agent intercepts the request and forward to the OAM where the credentials have been checked in the OAM and validation hackers like uh, based on the policies and the password policy whether it has meet all the password policy and other things okay and typically the uh, authentication happens then once the authentication happens and the session has been created the request is forwarded to the OA application server the request get processed as application server and the page ren get renders the user and this is the basically how the example use case I have explained the benefits of the OAM and OIM. Okay, so thank you. This is what it is from my side. So I try to explain between simple terms the integration and the benefits of OIM and OAID, OAM and OID, and finally the integration between the OAM, OIM, and the OID. Thank you.